Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am out in the woods. I've been wanting to try and make this vlog for quite a while and it's been uh, taking me a while to be able to get out um, and find some time, but I'm here um, and you can probably see behind me, this is the reason I've come down, the reason all the photographers are out um, at the moment and it's to shoot the bluebells. I actually think I'm a little late in coming. Um, they're not looking at their very best, but there's lots of them. And there's a particular shot that I've come here to shoot. Um, and that is inspired by a photographer that I watch on YouTube called Simon Booth, and I'll link to his channel. Um, and Simon, it goes out shooting in the woods, clearly knows an awful lot about woodland, just in general, the trees, the plants, the animals that he sees, the bird song. He's really uh, a fantastic guy to watch. So do give his channel um, a watch. I'll uh, put a link to him at the end of the video. But he likes to shoot um, or shoot uh, wildflowers very close up real sort of macro photography stuff I don't have a macro photography lens but I'm going to try and use my prime lens and also my zoom lens that I've got on as well but I've got a vision of trying to get a bluebell shot through other bluebells with a really um, wide aperture um, to blur everything out so I've got a bluebell that's almost completely surrounded by the, the purple um, colors of the others so that's my vision um, and it's good because it's sort of slowing me down. Usually I'd come here and I'd want to shoot everything because they, they look incredible, these seas of purple. Um, but that's what I'm focusing on. Um, so if I just show you, so I've got my camera very low to the ground, just shooting off into the distance over these bluebells. Um, the first composition I found um, isn't quite what I'm looking for because there's some green in the top half of the image, but I really like um, what that's looking like. Um, I'd also just like to make the point of where my tripod is just get that in focus um, I'm on the path um, it's very important I think that we're respecting the woodland and the places that we're shooting um, and I've seen videos of photographers trampling through bluebells or lying in them or photographs of people with their kids in the middle of bluebells and stuff it's very tempting to do but it ruins the wildflowers so it's very important to respect them and that's why I've got my tripod on the edge of this beautiful sea of flowers here so I don't think I'm gonna to have to move far from this area to find what I'm looking for but it's getting the right angle the right depth of field and looking for the right bluebell that I can just surround with purple so I'll keep looking for that but it's lovely to be out nobody here just listening to the birds in the trees and the, the pheasants off in the distance so but it's lovely to be here so let's see what else we can find Um, I've moved away from that patch now just to see if I can find something different somewhere else. I've tried the prime lens on um, and that doesn't work for that kind of shot that I'm trying to get because what the long lens will do is compress everything. So when I zoom through the, zo the bluebells it'll bring them all sort of close together like it's one sort of wall of purple which is what I want. Um, I'm also sporting my latest investment here which is my um, Peak Design camera clip um what's it called i think it's the capture peak design capture it's called which just means my camera can sit very comfortably there considering it's a dslr with a zoom lens on i can't feel it at all it's brilliant so i'm currently walking down to this part here you can see down here behind me lots of nice bluebells so let's see if we can get the shot that i'm after hopefully you can um see me okay with not too many rain splodges on the lens because it started to just drizzle a bit um, but I found this amazing patch of bluebells. I will admit I've had to come off the path, but not very far off the path. And I have taken very great caution not to tread on any flowers or anything. So, um, yeah, I'm on the sort of bank of, there's a bit of, a bit of a stream or a little bit of water running down there. So, um, I've got one possible option for the shot. Um, but I won't show that yet in case I've got one that I prefer. But the conditions aren't great. There's no light coming through now. There's quite a lot of clouds, so spend too long here but hopefully I can get this shot okay it's really raining but I think I've got the shot that I wanted or at least a, a version of it um, that I'm happy to put on screen um, I've, what I've done is gone down really low 
and found the furthest bluebird that I can focus on with as many in front of it as I can. And it's given a lovely dreamy, purpley, greeny kind of image. So it's not exactly what I want. It's not completely purple, but it's as close as I'm going to get. As you can see, the weather's turning on me. So give you a wipe. Um, yes, I will stop the video there. Thank you so much for watching. Please come see the bluebells, but respect them. Stay on the path, or at least when you're coming off the path, make sure you don't crush any. Um, so, and please, if you like the video, please give it a like, and please think about subscribing. I say this every time, but my channel is in very slow growth. So if you've liked the video, just click the subscribe button. You don't have to pay anything. It just means it'll tell you when I've done something new and you can watch it. So thanks for the support. See you soon. I'm sorry, I know you keep thinking you've got rid of me, but just after I'd shot that photo, um, I just moved over to my left, set up the camera again just to see, and I think I've definitely got the shot that I wanted. There's two that I've shot. There's one that's very, very dreamy and sort of ethereal. It's right through quite a large um, flower of bluebells into the distance. You can just about make out the other one. I think when I get it processed properly, be able to make sure that you can see that but that's very dreamy um, and then there's one that's slightly less and um, the flowers a little bit clearer so i'll show both of those and it'd be really interesting if you could comment let me know which one you prefer but this definitely is the end i'm going to pack up get out of the rain um enjoy saturday night so yes i will see you again in another video this is definitely the end <laughs>